Okay, so I want to do an episode of uh, fail in astronomy today, and it has to do with the ancient Greek universe. Now I know what you're thinking, geocentrism, where everything rotates around the Earth, and you are wrong. What I want to talk about is Philolaus and the anti-Earth, or the counter-Earth as it's sometimes called. Now we don't know exactly when Philolaus lived, but we know he was active around 400 BC, if Plato was telling the truth. Philolaus was not a contemporary of Pythagoras. Pythagoras died probably about 20 to 30 years before Philolaus was even born, but Philolaus was a Pythagorean, and the importance of that for our purposes is that Pythagoreans, like most philosophers, weren't good at separating their science from their religion and or mysticism. Empiricism hadn't really caught on yet, which for those of you who don't know, empiricism comes from the Greek word empirikos, meaning experience, and is knowledge based on testing. It is anything that is sensory and therefore can be measured, ideally many different times by many different people. Philolaus came to some interesting conclusions through spiritual principles of the Pythagoreans and internal logical reasoning. His cosmology was wrong, however, it's interesting. Philolaus proposed a solar system of ten objects, most likely because, being a Pythagorean, he thought ten was a special number, and he thought that at the center of the universe or the solar system, they were pretty much the same thing according to everyone at the time, was the central fire. In Philolaus's model, the sun was just a highly reflective body, like glass or disco ball, and it went around the central fire just like everything else. But if there is a central fire, that brings up a problem, and that is, why don't we see it? Well, Philolaus had an answer to that. We don't see it for the same reason we never see the other side of the moon. We rotate only once as we orbit the central fire, and thus, we don't see it. This phenomenon is called tidal locking, and I will discuss it in another episode, but basically just think of one face always being towards the primary. So you have the satellite, which in our case we have the moon that always faces us. Um, in Philolaus' model, we, the Earth, always faced one side of the central fire, but humans lived on the other side of the earth, so we never actually saw the central fire. And here's where it gets interesting. Philolaus put an anti-earth on the opposite side of the central fire and said that they never saw the central fire either for the same reason. So we're supposedly turning in one revolution, the same as the anti-earth, once every complete orbit. Philolaus called the anti-earth Antichthon, which in Greek means anti-earth, so he called it the anti-Earth. So while Philolaus may not have come up with the first heliocentric model, he came up with the first non-geocentric model that we know of. So that's pretty cool. And, and honestly, come on, wouldn't it be awesome if we had an anti-Earth? But alas, it is not there. How do I know? Well, there's been quite a few probes sent in that direction, and there is nothing there. Unless it's invisible and exerts no physical force of any kind, Soho would have detected it by now. One of the stereo probes definitely would have detected it by now. So, sorry. But hey, that's kind of the price you pay for living in a highly technological world. If you lived 2,500 years ago, you'd just be like, yeah, there's another Earth on the other side of the sun. Or the central fire. Not the sun. Not the sun. That's important. Remember that. If you lived in Philolaus' time, you could have spent your whole life believing in people on Antichthon. Anti-people. At least until Aristotle came along and politically crushed that idea. It's good to be a geek. It's good to be a scene. disdainful of Aristotle because he was wrong all the time, but let's be honest, that's part of the game. My biggest problem with Aristotle is kind of like the biggest problem people have with Twilight and Justin Bieber. It's it's the groupies. Philosophy majors? You know what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. The man has been dead for thousands of years and everyone's still like, Aristotle, he's just so brilliant. He came up with all these brilliant things. You're like, no, he was wrong pretty much all the time. He got one thing right in astronomy. One thing. The earth is round. Oh, good for you, like no one else had noticed. I'm addicted to Star Trek. I'm a Klingon speaking Federation freak. I find I'm more inclined to spend a bulk of my time on the Starship Enterprise than talking to girls that I mean. Anti-people. Anti-people. Anti-people and their whole, but basically unlimited, or you can think of as these, yeah, we're just not gonna get into a philosophical lesson today. But alas, it is not there. 
How do I know? 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 How do I know?